What's up you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're already a member, then welcome back. Thank you guys for coming over and watching another perfume video with me. So we are now in the month of May. I almost said April. By the time you watch this video, it will be May, okay? So yes, we are halfway through the year. The days are flying by, okay? The days are flying by. So of course, we gonna start May off with the haul, okay? I always come to you guys with a video once a month with the fragrances that I've added to my collection. And just so you know, I don't keep all my fragrances. You should be following me on Macari. That's what you should be following me because I do rotate my fragrances out. I go through my fragrances at least once a month, maybe every other month, and I put fragrances on Macari that I don't want anymore and I'm selling. So follow me on Macari. My link is down below in the description, so go there and follow me, okay? I'm gonna break this up into two parts, okay? Cause yeah, I think I'll be losing you guys after a while, so yeah stay tuned for part two okay but in part one we're gonna get started and i always like to start with fragrances that were sent to me because i like to be honest with you guys and let you guys know i don't like to keep any secrets from you guys any secrets okay you guys know i am an affiliate with commodity and i'm also an affiliate with atar collection and sometimes they love to gift me fragrances and I'm not even gonna lie, I love receiving fragrance as gifts, okay? So, Commodity reached out and asked me if I wanted to get uh, a fragrance. They, well, they, wanted, they asked me if I wanted moss. Um, that's kind of like, like, I don't really get to pick and choose what I want, but sometimes they'll, if they're running like promotions on moss and different uh, fragrances in their collection, they'll reach out and ask me if I want a full size bottle. And of course the answer is always going to be yes, because Commodity has been a all time favorite of mine ever since they were in Sephora. I just love their fragrances. I honestly, I feel like Commodity was probably one of the first, like next to Killian, one of the first niche brands that I really fell in love with. I just love their fragrances. They smell so amazing. They sent me Moss Bold, okay? Here is the bottle. Now, I always get my fragrances in bold. You do have the choice to get them in um, personal, expressive, and bold. Me, I'm a bold girl. I like my fragrances to be loud. I like my fragrances to hit a certain kind of way. I like for people to smell me coming, okay? Like, you gonna smell me when I'm on my way like that's how I like my fragrances to hit so they gave me moss bold now this fragrance is very earthy it, it opens up with like some citrus notes it has bergamot I want to say there is a green note in here your patchouli a little musk a little spicy so that's how this fragrance is hitting I really do enjoy this fragrance a lot. This is like one of those scent profiles that I really like in fragrances. I am an earthy girl. You guys know this. I say it all the time on my channel. I love fragrances that smell like this. Like the earth is so green and dark and deep, okay? It does remind me a little bit of fragrances like Creed, it reminds me of uh, Morning Chest by Velhem. So if you have those fragrances, then you can kind of get an idea of what this fragrance like smells like. But it is really, really gorgeous. Definitely one that I will pick up um, more so around this time of the year. Uh, summer, spring, summer. We about to go into summer, so I'm not, I'm not even going to say spring. Like We about to hit summer in like 2.2 seconds okay it's gonna be hot like today it was like almost 90 it said 89 but it felt like 90 it felt like 100 in my car but it was 89 degrees so this is the perfect scent for me to wear when i am outside in the high heat i feel like it's gonna go great with my skin and just keep me fresh and keep me smelling good so i cannot wait to dive into this one beautiful scent thank you commodity for sending me this fragrance absolutely love it 
Okay, so the next fragrance I will be talking about is from Atar Collection. This is the Queen of Sheba. Um, if you follow me on Insta, you would have already uh, heard me talk about this fragrance. I think this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Um, I just love it. It, it's, it has a... Um, it kind of reminds me of Good Girl Gone Bad. Like it has that vibe to it. Like I'm not even gonna lie. It reminds me of Good Girl Gone Bad a lot. The only thing of it is, it has a note of tobacco and incense. That's what sets like those two fragrances apart is that tobacco. It's like, okay, I love Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian um, and I, I can't help but to like this one because that like good girl is one of my favorite fragrances right so I can't help but to like this one but because it has that tobacco and incense in it I feel like it just takes that that whole smell to a different level okay it takes it higher and my god it smells amazing like this is super classy super elegant to me I want to give you guys a few notes. I don't want to go too, too much into detail because I don't want the video to be too long. But in this fragrance, you do get some peach, osmanthus, you get tobacco, leaf, incense. In the middle, you get tuberose, citrus, jasmine, rose. In the base, you get musk and amber. This scent is so gorgeous. Like when I smell this, it smells like royalty. It smells like excellence. It just smells like the queen, okay? It smells like a queen. Oh my God, and I cannot wait to wear this. Like this is the type of fragrance that I'll honestly, I will wear all year. I don't know how well it would perform when it gets cold, but girl, I can wear this like all day, every day. Real talk. You guys know I almost considered Good Girl Gone Bad as like my signature scent, but I have too many fragrances to really have a signature scent, but it's, it's signature scent worthy. This fragrance is signature scent worthy as well. I love Atar Collection. I love their bottles. I love the packaging. I think it's just very um, like glamorous. You know, it says like, you know, I don't, I don't want to use the word expensive, but you know, it's giving like you, you got a little coin to spend on a fragrance. You know, that's what it's giving. It's giving, you know, high class quality. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say, but I love it. Thank you, Atar, for sending me this beautiful fragrance. I love to display them behind me on my shelf. People always ask me like, oh, like people are drawn to these bottles because they they look so elegant you know and gorgeous so love that one you guys probably know i've talked about this fragrance already um ever since i got the fragrance honey i've been talking about it i can't stop talking about it to be honest with you it is like one of my favorite fragrances right now and it's from zara okay now, I'm just like getting into Zara fragrances. A lot of you have already been talking about Zara and, you know, into Zara. But the thing that's kept me from really getting into Zara is that sometimes they can be hard for me to find in store. I feel like now because their fragrances are becoming so popular, you can actually walk into a Zara and find mostly all of their fragrances, okay? So I was lucky enough to find Ebony Wood you guys oh my god this is just amazing like i want to spray some on me now Ooh, there's only three notes in this fragrance i don't see how there are three notes listed but we all know that there's some other things going on in this fragrance if you have it because there's something sweet down in the dry down and it, it is giving me a little bit of vanilla-esque but it's not listed okay the notes are, that are listed are ebony wood clove and pink pepper maybe ebony wood is like a sweet wood i don't know i'm not very familiar with the smell of ebony wood but it's giving in this scent okay the clove i pick up it kind of smells a little herbal and the pink pepper is very light in my opinion you would think pink pepper is going to be spicy but i would say it's more of a soft spicy uh smell you know 
Y'all, ebony wood is everything. Okay, I need, I was actually online the other day considering buying a bigger bottle of this or buying a backup bottle to this because I honestly see myself like running through this fragrance. Like I see myself like wanting to grab this every single day. I just love it. The nose behind this fragrance is Jo Malone. Never heard me talk about any Jo Malone fragrances. I have not. I don't even have own any Jo Malone in my collection, but smelling this fragrance makes me want to revisit. Like I feel like I need to go smell the Jo Malones. Like maybe I'm missing out on something. For some reason, Jo Malone fragrances don't seem to last on my skin. And at that price point, child, I need the fragrance to last me at least a good seven hours. Like, if the fragrance is over $100, you better be giving me at least six. I need a good six to seven hours on my skin, and I need some projection, okay? And just Jo Malone fragrances just don't really give me that. After smelling Ebony Wood, I'm, child, I've been really thinking about going to Nordstrom's and um, smelling me some Jo Malone, okay? Like, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll find that one Jo Malone scent that I feel like, like I love and like I want. But right now, no. The next fragrance that I bought was Luminous Nectar. Um, this is beautiful. I've really been on the hunt for a good springy summer scent like a summer spring scent for me for 2022 like i want to look back on that fragrance next year and be like "Ooh, this fragrance this is the fragrance i wore out last year over the summer like i just could not stop wearing it that's what i've been on the hunt for and so i smell luminous nectar and um you know it's giving me it's giving me uh, iris, okay, so it's giving me like a powdery uh, type of vibe, you know. It's, I'm not going to say that it reminds me 100% of Tiffany, like Tiffany & Co., but it has a very powdery smell to it, like iris. And if you're familiar with iris, iris can kind of come off smelling a little bit uh, like cosmetic, like lipstick, but you know it's iris when you get a very heavy powdery note from the fragrance and that's what i get from this i do get something sweet and i believe there's pear in this fragrance um but i think this would be great to wear every day spring summer it's just really really pretty i can see myself like wearing it to work because it's non offensive like nobody Ain't nobody going to say anything to me when I wear this to work. Like, you know, I think it's going to create the really, like a really nice scent bubble on my skin. I probably will have to reapply if I'm going to wear it. Like if I go to happy hour or something after work, I would have to reapply because I feel like the longevity is not, it's moderate, slight to moderate, you know, um, with this fragrance and the projection is going to be slight to moderate as well. But at the end of the day, it's one of those sweet, fruity, powdery scents that's gonna like, you know, it's very feminine. It's gonna sit very close to your skin. And it's just like an easy type of grab scent to me. And it was affordable, okay? This one was $25.90 and this one was $19.90, okay? So Zara is really letting the girls have it right now. What they say, they got a chokehold on the girls. Like, I swear, every time I open up TikTok or open up Instagram, somebody is running down like their all-time favorite Zora scents. So Zora is really doing it. Check out some Zora fragrances, especially if you're trying to save a little coin, okay? Save you some money. Now, I did buy a, I think out of all of these, this, this is probably a little bit more on the pricey side, okay? This is from the House of Oud, okay? This is what the box looks like. You slide it open. Actually, let me just go ahead and give y'all the whole effect. Let me let y'all just really see what it's going to look like when you order your fragrance. So, if you're not familiar with the House of Oud, they are a niche brand and they're known for... Um, they're fragrances that have this really, really nice, exquisite oud in them. Um, and they're also known for their bottle shapes. They have the most unique 
perfume bottle shape that I've ever seen thus far. So to be honest with you, and they call them an egg, okay? Definitely will pop up a picture so you guys can see. But this is what the box looks like. And then you slide it open, and voila, there is your fragrance, okay? Beautiful scent. So the one that I picked up is called Just Before. Y'all, I have another egg. So this is egg number two. And I don't buy them very often. Um, I think they are just so exquisite and just different. Like this fragrance smells like nothing I have in my collection. Like, and, and the bottle is just so gorgeous. Like this is a like statement piece. It's just gorgeous. This is art. Like this is art to me. This is a hand-painted glass, okay? And all of them have something similar. Like, I almost dropped it. Lord have mercy. They have something similar. Like, you're not going to... The egg, the shape is going to be the same, but the design is going to have the same colors and everything, but not necessarily the same pattern, okay? So each egg is painted different. And I think it is just so exquisite. I want to say this is an Italian brand. Yes, made in Italy. I'm gonna spread a little bit right here on the card that came in the box. Even though I've already been wearing it. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Okay, this fragrance is considered to be woody, amber, warm, spicy, vanilla, citrus, powdery, aromatic, sweet, yellow floral, okay, balsamic. In the notes, you get saffron. You guys know I simply go crazy for saffron. Bergamot, lemon in the middle, you get palo santo, lang lang, myrrh in the base, you get vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and benzoin. Oh, this smells so delicious. It's a very warm, okay? This is a very warm scent to me. When I smell it, I just feel like my whole body just warms up. That's like from that amber, but the saffron is giving it some sweetness with that lang. And I get the uh, I get the Palo Santo. The Palo Santo is a note that I'm really not familiar with, but I see a lot of perfumers incorporating Palo Santo in their fragrances, and I can't say that I'm mad at it. It's not necessarily herbal. It could be herbal. Could be a little incensey kind of feel to it. But Palo Santo is a gorgeous scent. I know a lot of people like smudge their homes with Palo Santo, you know, get out of evil spirits out and whatnot. It reminds me of another fragrance that I used to have in the past that I cannot put my finger on, but uh, people compare it to, let's see, they mainly compare it to a scent called Seta Moresque. Okay, I know I just killed that, more-esque. That's what they're comparing it to. That one probably has Palo Santo in it as well. No, it has Saffron, Merlang. Um, But there was a fragrance I used to wear back in the day that I got from Cool and Litscum. It's a store here in Houston. Of course, I cannot remember the name of that fragrance, but it's reminding me of that fragrance. I give this fragrance a 10 out of 10, highly recommend. The longevity is top tier. The projection is top tier. Like I've only literally sprayed like three sprays of this fragrance. Like I refuse to really go in with it because, you know, like no, when I get ready to go somewhere and wear it, of course I'm going to go in with the sprays. But I kind of sprayed a few sprays before I went to work. But I didn't want anybody saying nothing to me at work. You know what I'm saying? Because this is that type of fragrance that is going to get you compliments. It is going to get you noticed. Like... It is a standout fragrance. You feel me? Like, it's beautiful. It has a very soft essence to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I love this one, okay? This is a total blind buy. I'm trying to get out of blind buying. I did research it a lot before I purchased it because y'all know there's nothing more sad. I always say this than what? Blind buying a fragrance, getting it, and hating it. Ooh, child. Trying to resell it. People want to nickel and dime you. They never want to give you what you pay for it. You know, so I just, I try, when it comes to like expensive fragrances, I honestly try not to blind buy because, 
And I want to talk about this indie brand. This is from the House of Happy Land. This is called Rhyolite. Ugh. My, um, I talked about this in a previous video. The Fragtastic Mr. Fox. And he sent me a sample of this. I fell in love with this at first sniff. I can't get enough of this, guys. This is a beautiful, warm, sweet, boozy gourmand to me. It has notes of almond, lang, honey, uh, cashmere, blueberry. It is really, really gorgeous. It has this candid type of vibe to it that I really enjoy. And you know, it gives me indie. You know, indie fragrances has this indie feel to them. Comment down below if you know what I'm saying. You know, it's like niche has a feel, designer has a feel, and indie has a feel. Like I get indie when I smell this one, you know. And I'm not mad at it. It kind of reminds me of like going into a Bottega. You know the Bottega. Now the Bottegas in New York is different from the Bottegas here in, in Texas. We don't really have Bottegas. We got a store called Bottega. But when you walk in there, it smells of warmness, incense. This one I think has a little myrrh in it if I'm not mistaken. But no, it has white musk. But you know what I'm saying? Those stores you walk in, like um, like a holistic store that sells these handmade soaps and things like that. Not saying that this is like that at all, but it gives me that feel. You know, like you can tell this is a handmade, crafted fragrance. But they did a freaking good job on this fragrance man i did pick up two other samples homeland um extreme and paisley dreams i'm gonna get paisley dreams because i thought i was in love with rhyolite i'm in love with paisley dreams from happy land i almost ran through my sample when i got it and so i had to i had to Pull it on back, girl. Hold on, Nelly. That's gonna be my next purchase. So this is hap this is Rhyolite from Happy Land. I will put up a picture so you guys can see it. I will also leave their information down in the description below. Go check them out. And yeah, they samples like you get a nice five ml for like seven dollars. So you can literally smell everything they have to offer for the low. Okay, so yeah go and check them out all right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this one here and then we'll do part two later on okay i'll put part two up in the next day or so but if you are into fragrances i would love for you to join the family okay join my perfume family hit the subscribe button hit the like button that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video comment down below if you have any of the fragrances that i mentioned in this video and let us know let the girls know let the people know how you feel about the fragrances okay because sometimes you know people might be a little skeptic on my choice of fragrance but if like a few or five of y'all comment on a fragrance and be like yeah that fragrance is amazing that fragrance is bomb then people be like oh okay it is good <laughs> so comment down below if you have any of the fragrances that i talked about thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in part two Mwah. bye